right, hey guys, how we doing? So polling's in, and up, uh, the winner was Ripple to the dollar. It, well, actually, it was Ripple, but we didn't get specificity as to whether it was the, the, your preference was to the dollar or the Bitcoin. So I did it. I, I chose the dollar as we've been looking at uh, Ripple to Bitcoin oh, a couple times in the last in the last couple of weeks. So I thought we'd do it here on the dollar. Now I. Whenever you, you guys ask for something, the first thing I always do is go over and see where the volume is. So I, I you guys know I like Coin Checkup here. I use them. There's several of these, but this probably you can do it on TradingView actually. But I like to see where where's in the last 24 hours. Where's where's the volume? Right. You can see here. And interestingly, number three here. First two are to Bitcoin. Number three here is Binance to the Tether. So that's why I'm choosing that. So here's. Binance to the tether, so you can't, you know, what do you, what do you do with that, right? So it's, it's, it's really hard to call that, you know, one, two, or A, B, you know, it just barely, it's, it's, it's a double bottom. So what do we have here? So we have some sort of crazy spike right there, and now we're just dealing with a correction of that. It looks like it's not damn near made the full round turn, and it certainly may end up that way. But if you if you break into the count here, see if it can be anything helpful here. Now, if I were if I just brought up this chart and I were looking at it here, so you know, prior to putting a wave count on or just trying to get a sense of it, you know, to some degree, you're kind of making the assumption that that this area down here is going to hold as support. Right? We we've been down here, we've tested this area, right? So here here, here, test it again. Are we gonna hold here? So if you're looking at Ripple, it's probably not off of the wave count being particularly bullish. It's, it's you know, how low can we go? And is there is there a case to be made here for an opportunity? Are we just coming into a previous area of, of demand and thus there perhaps there's an opportunity here? I, I th that's not an unreasonable way to view it because the wave count, it, you wouldn't you wouldn't pull this up, look at them, I've got a four hour here, look at that chart and think, oh, wow, this is certainly makes me think I want to be a buyer here, right? Other than that longer term, just supply and demand. You know, so you, you could think of it this way. So we've got a, a big, uh, come here, we've got a big range up here. Even if you wanted to tighten it and just say, well, there, right, that, that's the last area of, of supply that we came into. So we're sitting between those two areas. Yeah, can we can get a wave count on it. It's there. So for, at first glance, you might be thinking, oh, I got a big, I got a very clear three wave correcting that pump. So then you might think, well, I could do it two ways. So you, this could be a three, three, and now we're in an ending diagonal. And then, then there certainly is an alternate, which I'm sure has already occurred to you here. We, we could have a W, this is the X, and we're in the midst of doing an ABC. Right? So that, that would be, these are both, you really really can't eliminate them. So it becomes a question of, are you, do you see more of an ABC here, or do you see this five wave structure finishing the C? You know, you could really play it either way because, well, let's do them one at a time. So be before I start moving anything, it's kind of, I mean, it, Guys, we, we, we all know that they're, they're, they're all of crypto just, you know, to some extent, part of me just wants to, to like, if I could grab you guys by the shoulders and say, why the fuck are we bent? Why are we, why are we beating our heads against the wall here in crypto? There is so much opportunity in other assets. There's there's just very little in crypto that looks attractive, right? Technically, now you you yeah you can make these cases like this. Look, you know if we're coming this low, we're at you know the absolute lows down here. Many are you know within you know small percentage of hitting to zero. So if crypto is going to survive some of these stronger projects here, well, it's a buying opportunity. Right? So suddenly you're not a trader anymore. Now you're just you're a long-term investor. You're just buying it because it's low. You know, I mean, really, right? If, if I just took you through, if I brought up randomly picked from every asset class and I, and I just pulled up charts and said, what do you think? What do you think? You like that? Anything interesting here? Any opportunity there? What do we think? A clear count? I, I mean, I could go through 200 crypto charts and, and I think it would be the very rare exception where you're going to say, wow, that, that looks like a good opportunity. I mean, or you could just simplify it and say, well, crypto, it's too late to sell. It's too soon to buy. 
So why, 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 why are we beating our heads against the wall in crypto until something happens? Until, I mean, at this point, we're, we're all waiting for a bull run. Right? Well, you know, as, as, as Quan laid out in terms of his longer term analysis of what's going on in Bitcoin, that could be a year away. Right? So every time we, we get excited about one of these pumps, you know, it, this, it's going to need to sustain way more than just a pump wick, right? Which, you know, this, yeah, that was, that was a big percentage gain, but look what's happened since then, right? So when, when was that? That's all the way back to September of 18, and we've done, just done nothing but give it all back, right? We're all the way back to where we started. All right, with that said, let, let's see if there's a count here. Well, so you can do it either way because you do have the possibility. You can see that the A wave could have finished here. The B wave is here and we're in the C. So really either count, right, just as good as the other, right? We're, 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 the whole thing is just waiting for something bullish to develop and then we would wait for the first retrace. Do you wanna try and pick the low down here? Well, if you're, if you're long-term bullish about Ripple, you know, I mean, you can talk yourself into maybe taking a position down here. You're at this longer term supply. So what is it a trade? Come on, guys, not really. There's not really a, a trade here, but there might be. All right. Well, it's, you know, if it's going to hold that this this prior area of demand, you know, maybe I can get positioned for a longer term hold and six months from now, I'll look at this again and see where it is. But let's, let's look at it. Okay, so we, we could do one, two, three. Now, part of this, let me I'll pull this off here just so we get a little bit more clarity here and we'll go down and we'll look at it in more detail so part of this is <clears throat> that you know you can look here and so there, there's my tendency is to think that that's that's the three right so we come down right you know right in that let's take this off here clear up the chart all right so here's your high probability zone for that third we come right to it so that that is a three in this one two three four subdivisions all there it's, it's hard not to like that as the three, just 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 based on the swing relationship. So you had, you know, kind of a weird one there, the two. It's unusual, right? But it's, it's unusually deep, really, is what I'm saying there. So get right right on there. But if that's if that if that is the one two, hard to argue with that as a reasonable case for the three. Now, in the alternate, you'd be putting the three here where you're kind of in between. You don't have that precision here. But the count still, it really, it plays either way. So if that's the three, we've done an ABC into a four. So from the B here, we're finishing an ending diagonal. And then we have, we'd have an ending diagonal within the larger diagonal, right? So here, here's the four overlapping the one. So, you know, that's, that's, not, that's I mean, there it is, right? So th that's the count as you would look at it. So if the four is correctly identified here, so taking the, because it's a diagonal, remember, as a, with a diagonal, we're going to start the pull not from the two. Well, you'd, you know, you'd want to look at both here, but you can, you can just look at it here, seeing where we are. If we pull from the two, we're past the 65. So in a diagonal, you want to pull from the start of one through the three, where you're more typically going to find is at the 50. Now, we get the little pump to get through and, and break the one to, cl to clearly confirm that, at least per this count, we'd have to be used, counting it as a diagonal. So we'd have to go one here as an A, B, C, two as an A, B, C, A, B, C into the three. Now we, what do you got here? And this, this, it looks like you can make a case for five up here. So it looks like you can get five and then five. Well, let's go down to, a, let's go to an hourly. We see the subdivision a little bit better. All right, so from this low down here, and I've just wicked off the key low, so you can see it's a true double bottom. I get tagged it, so you know which one are you going to use? I use the second one, so I can get a one, two, three, four, a little skinny in here. That is a still a sixty minute, but I can get five up, five down. So what does that leave? A, A, B, C. And this is that done? Well, you wouldn't want to. Right, just another pump wick, All right? Pumping down. All right. So is that done? Well. You know, it's hard, hard to say until we see more resolution here That because how are you going to dig a sub count out of that? You, you just can't. But you do, you do, and it didn't make a target. So if you look at an algo play, right, so if they were, if this was a front run on the 50, maybe we don't make it. So it's just sloppy. It's just not, not, this is shit trading, guys. I'm sorry to tell you that. All right, so, but here, here we go. So maybe, maybe you could do this here, something like that. So if we break out of that, but let, let's say we do that. Let's say we come up here. 
all you're doing is, is, is so you're just confirming the ABC. So now I should, I, you know, this is me with a uh, with a with a bullish bias because I I just I don't like shorting crypto. I just find it to be a pain in the ass. So, but let, let's say if you, if you're if you are comfortable shorting crypto, right? Then this is certainly teeing up for you, right? So we could the other thing we could of course we could put median lines on this. So there there's your hundred teed up as a as an A to B equals B to C. Right, so it's hard not to like that. I mean, that that's so technically, right? If this, if we start to move here, now we got to hold this pivot, and that's that's certainly a deep retracement. Now, if it's an ABC and that's in, that's perfectly acceptable and very common, right? For the for the B to go that low, so that's not that's not unusual. But now you're going to need to see big, big, big move here. Right? <laughs> oh, shit. So we're talking about a move from thirty cents to what do we got to get up to here? Thirty four cents. So. You know, percentage-wise, yeah, that's 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 a nice move, right? There's, and not to, you know, so is there a trade there? Yeah, yeah. You're going counter trend. You're just trying to punch out the little the little signal here. Something I would take? No. Why? 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 Why do I want to? Why do I want to fuck around here? There, there's there's so many better trades. Why would I want to park capital here? You know, again, if you're a long-term believer in the project, then the technicals here, what do you even care? You're just, you're just buying because we're down at prior demand. This, we're just monkeying around here. Maybe we get that. Well, that would be nice technically, but all that's doing is, is, is setting you up for the sell. So you're playing that. Yeah, sure. If you leverage it up, that's not bad. Nothing wrong with it. Let's tee it up for the sell. There's your down sloping trend line at your median at the hundred. So you want to be a seller. Well, you know, you know, there's going to be there's going to be a target down here. So if we scrunch that back up, let's see if I can do it in a two. Uh, if if that were to complete, so that means we'd have one, two, three, A, B, C into the four right at the hundred. So since we're in a diagonal, just like the prior diagonal, we want to pull from the start of the one through the pivot of the three. Well, that would put us right at the 38. So hard, hard not to like the, the potential confluence all sitting right here. Let's call it what we call 34 cents. Hard not to like that, right? So that as a technician, all that's happening here is we're setting up for this move here. So if we if we catch that, then that's that's the play you'd be after. So first we got to break this channel. Whoops, let's get that off of here. We got to break this channel. Come up here. That I mean, that's a nice technical setup. This it's a stronger sell than it is a buy because this this is suspect because you can't really dig any clarity out of that. Maybe, maybe that's the C. Push up here. You know, if you're just jonesing for a trade and you're going to be insistent on staying in crypto, well, maybe you'd have very low risk here. Stop under the pivot, right? The 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 percentage, the eighty percent breaks down if we if we don't hold that pivot. So the push up here into the sell, yeah, why not? Why not? Why not? Very low risk here. So you're at thirty cents to stop under at twenty seven eighty. You know, two and a half cents of risk, right? So then, but it really is—is is it setting up the Y down here to finish this, or the five to finish the diagonal? Maybe. All right. This. So here's the good three. So now let's look at the alternate. So let me let me pull back out and say, okay, well that's all fine and well, but let, let's look at that alternate. So we've looked at all possibilities here because if you drew this up, it would be very easy to think, oh, A B C into a W, right? Because I mean, it is. It's an ABC into a W. It's just what degree do you want to give it? And then what's more likely unfolding here? Well, let's look at that that alternate count. Let's pull this apart and see see if we can reconstruct and end up in the same with the same conclusion. So let's pull all of this off since we've been through that count, right? And you, I'm sure this is not particularly difficult. So I'm sure you guys can can work through the same stuff here. So let let's consider the alternate. Okay, so we went. Oh, let's see. So we'd have, let's see, let's get the, the A wave here. Still would be relevant. Okay, so we have an ABC into a W, ABC into an X. So I'm going to take off that ABC and we're just going to go WX. Now, that means we have to get an ABC. So this has to move over to the three. This is perfectly valid here. So we don't have a diagonal, right? This is not a diagonal. So we'd end up, where's that five? Right here. Okay, so. If 
what no that wouldn't be finished pardon me so this would be our a so let's get that ABC of that larger degree so this would be a B and we're going in for the C now let's put that in yellow and we'll get up a degree or two let's go to uh, menu out of work okay so five down clear clear impulse down right no no problem identifying that right even the subdivision in this fifth right all good a b c into a b so a now let's measure of course just as we we say we're just doing it slightly different in this case right since it's not we're not assuming that it's a diagonal we're assuming that this is the b right so this is very i mean the the spot where you'd be looking for a b between the 50 and the 618 meaning so now from that b i've got to finish i've got to get a c right, any any reason to assume anything other than this outcome no there's really not there's just there's just nothing there to say other than well if the b's in a b c well we can so we've got the algo target we can also look for any fib relationship in those swings so a to b projected from the c well if we pull it over get that 100% down here All right we'd be we'd be in between the second algo right that's very common now of course we can do the same thing here so we can put median lines because remember they're they're going to be drawn on both sides All right so here well can't hit here maybe All right so we're kind of running out of room are we going that low well there's zero down here so this now you'd already be having to put the the one five on that so just just out of curiosity Oh, what do I want? I want settings here. So let's go to the one five. See if we're holding it there. Just just running into the edge, to the edge there. But as it would relate to, let's go down to that that thirty again. As it would relate to this existing count. From this as a two, well, give me a sec here. So there's the one. So we've already overlapped. So this again, maintain we maintain. We, we have to have this as a diagonal. So we got ABC into the one, ABC into the two, ABC into the three. You're anticipating the C of the four to come over here. Okay, so I'm gonna pull this off on the larger degree. And now I guess we can pull this off. All right, because if we're gonna go up here, we're gonna be outside of the bounds of that. So same thing. Now, let's come here. Get that pivot, start of the, start of the one through the pivot of the proposed three. So we're gonna have to check this here. So there, through, through the pivot of the three, well, 50 is not, is not unreasonable. That's relatively, relatively common for, for a diagonal. Now that's gonna be fairly, so this is kind of interesting. So I, I will often do it this way. So let's compare the two to the four. Right, so, well, <laughs> look at that. So from the from the length from the from the pivot of the one through the pivot of the two projected from the four, this is a common resistance point. Now look, isn't that interesting? Right? So we come up to this prior prior resistance, tabs it to the tick. We get the hundred percent. So that's parity, right? This length equals this length. So if there's going to be another kick up here, well, where we're we going? Well, here's the here's the one six one eight up here. So this is not an unreasonable target. So you're making the assumption that you're gonna come up all the way to this level, right? Now you're gonna be, it's, that's gonna be unusually deep, actually. That's un, that would be unusually deep for the four relative to the two to go one, six, one, eight, the length of the two. So you gotta, well, we're gonna, maybe, maybe we're coming down here. Maybe the four's there. So we'd look, you know, let's look at this on the smaller degree as well. Right, we know that's a hundred percent. So, and we just did this, right? So, let's look from this. If that if that is the B, well, so here's here's the the secondary. Right? We just did this when the other count. So here's the three eight and the hundred right here, which would be a little a little more in line. And then you can see all of this this resistance just sitting right here. All right, so if you just pull that across, right? So you can make make a pretty strong case that we're we're gonna bump into, if it's gonna drive up here, that that does a pretty nice job of setting up an ABC. That, so length of time, that's kind of interesting. So let's look at this, if we just block this out and then let's just clone it and then pull it over here. Pretty damn close, right? So it's a question of how long is it gonna take, right? So this could be over here. Nothing says it couldn't. Right, then we'd have some time parity. 
Well, just, just looking at those, so any of this, you know, if we're driving higher, boy, it's hard to, hard to dig a count out of this that would have you done here. How else could we be done? Well, both counts are implying one, one more push down, and that, that's assuming that we have a hard pivot up here and that we're going up, we're going up to this before that comes. Now, just because it's here, right? So this, nothing, nothing is, nothing must happen. We don't have to do that, of course. But if you just try and put it together, is this, is this where you'd want to be allocating capital to this, what we're seeing here? I don't, I don't hate the short side here, but I don't think there's much to do here now. R really, because of the, the lack of clarity on this, this just this pump down wick, you know, again, you're kind of rolling dice here, or, you, or you're just buying it because it's, you know, boy, that's awfully low at 30 cents. There, there's not a great reason to be pushing a trade here. And, but, you know, again, I'm not saying don't. If you have a strong bias here, you're looking for a way in, there, well, you know, that's... That's, that's tradable, but I think you got to be realistic about how far that can go before, at the very least, it's going to run into some stiff resistance. So I wouldn't be, I'd keep some dry powder for better, better times here, both with Ripple and across all of crypto, really. Right? Well, my honest opinion. I, I don't know why, I don't know why we're, we're beating our heads against the wall in crypto. There's just very little opportunity here. So that, that, that there at least is the technical analysis. Now you draw your own conclusions, and there, I think there's, there's education. Right? We, we can learn from this, and this, this requires you to be patient. You know, the, the, the feeling that you, you know, need to be in the market, you need to be looking for trades, you know, you got to be careful about that. Sometimes the best trade is no trade, and just maintaining capital and waiting for, waiting for something to set up. Right? The, the idea that I've got to be in the market, that, that can be... Um, that can be trouble. All right, guys, that's pretty much everything I can possibly add there. Not to, not to be a downer. I just, there's lots of opportunity. I just don't see much in crypto at the moment. All right, guys, talk to you later.